go and Zodiac BFF. I'm back. It's your girl Godiva Empress, and yes, I am back with yet another video. This video was inspired by one of my wonderful, absolutely bomb ass subscribers. Her name is Nicola. Nicola, if you're watching this, thank you, girl. I told you. I got you. So let's just get straight into it. A lot of zodiac signs are known to fall in love with projects. Projects meaning fixer uppers. People that you see the potential in. People that you have to help mature. People that you have to use your energy to help grow. And even though a lot of zodiac signs do this, Virgos, where y'all at? Y'all are really known to do this. Why do we do this? Why? So I've touched on this in another video and um, I just wanted to dive a little deeper. So like I said in Virgos, we are the service signs. We are the helpers of the Zodiac, right? So it would only make sense that people who are sick or people who are damaged, they're gonna gravitate to us because they feel our healing energy. And like I stated before, there are other signs that do this, but Virgos, we just, we have to stop this. We have to cut it out. Yes, they can feel our healing energy. They can feel our positivity. They can feel the blessing in us. Virgos have the potential to say no to anything, but sometimes we'll let love override our logic, which Virgos y'all should never do because we always come back to our logic. Just don't do it. Don't do it. So instead of us saying no, go away, we let them attach themselves to us. Now Virgos, the bad thing about dating somebody who is not mature or who needs more growth than you do, is while you're helping them, you're draining yourself. There's been plenty of relationships I've been in and while I'm helping somebody on another status level or who has a totally different background from mine and I'm trying to get us on some common ground, I shortchange myself trying to help this Emma ever. Ah, ah, ah. Don't do it. So for the first reason, Virgos, I will start with, they gravitate to us, okay? Now here's the part where we take accountability. We want to just help you get to a better place in life, make wiser decisions. Virgos want to show you a better life. Not to say now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not to say that your life isn't good already, but Virgos can see that it could be a little bit better. And that's where the problem comes in. Because ultimately, Virgos, that's not your effing job. If the person you're dating doesn't already have these characteristics, why the F do you think you're gonna help them get it? Because like I said, you're always gonna resort back to who you are. So even if you change them, these are temporary changes. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Matter of fact, don't ask. I don't wanna have to revisit that at all, no. In Virgo, this is not a new saying, that you can't change someone. They would have to wanna change themselves. So with that mindset, knowing that we're the helpers, we see the good in people, we see the potential in the people, well, you can see it, but I don't think you should sign up for it. Been there, done that, bought a shirt, maybe a mug. Another reason why Virgos date projects and should it, no fixer uppers, but we do, is because we know we're extra picky, we're extra selective. So some of us Virgos don't even really think that we are gonna get what we want, get what we deserve. So ultimately, you're settling. And the reason why we don't feel like we're gonna get what we want, get what we deserve, is because the selection is garbage out here. Y'all know that the dating selection is just not what it used to be. And especially when you get over 30, girl, boy, like just forget about it. Like you get to a point, you're like, why even try? Maybe you shouldn't. Okay, well maybe that's not the best advice. I'm just saying, I, I don't know what's out here in these streets. I just don't, it's okay to be by yourself. Just, if you're okay with you, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me keep it going. So yeah, a lot of us Virgos also date projects and fixer uppers because the selection is just not out here, y'all. It's not. So sometimes some Virgos will take what they can get. Even though ultimately, what did I tell y'all? We're not gonna sell. So for the majority of the Virgos that's not settling, bump this. Go, <laughs> do what you do. I'm with you. There's no need to settle. Just perfect loving yourself. So, whether you do end up with someone or if you don't find what you're looking for or get what you deserve, you deserve happiness in yourself, don't you? 
But you have to have genuine self-love. We've talked about this before. Stop that faking shit. Make sure you love you for you. And the part you don't like, what am I telling y'all to do? Change it. That's why I'm here though, I'm here to help you. And for some people, they get tired of being alone. They get tired of being single, so they go ahead and pick something and be like, I could work with this, but in the end, you really can't. That's why some people are married for so long for settling and they end up cheating on their partner because they had to settle for something. They were so anxious to be married that once they get married, they see the stuff that was potential. It didn't change for real because they resorted back and it's something you can't deal with. Virgos, my advice to you would be don't settle. Get what you deserve, get what you want, get what you need. You don't have to have a fixer upper. You don't have to get a project. You don't have to date these type of people. You don't. I'm telling you why we do it. So how about let's stop doing that. If I can help prevent some of the things that I went through and you can learn from my mistakes, you better get the learning. You're welcome. Y'all, I have a new tripod stand that was a gift. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm using it and it's so much taller than my last one. It's super dope as you can see. You know, it captures everything, something that I needed, but I didn't want to buy. So yeah, I'm just like so happy about it. I will be vlogging this week. Stay tuned as to where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a day in the life of a Virgo. You get to come along with me. Merch is coming. Hopefully it'll be done this week, but I probably won't be able to pick it up until next week. And I'm about to go live in just a little bit. Uh, I will do some updates. If y'all see this video, just know it's probably a live that came after it. So if you want to catch it, you can. Until next time, y'all know who it is. Godiva Empress. Bye y'all. Love y'all.